Hey, what's up guys? It's Dave from BC Bushcraft and welcome to another Bushcraft Camp episode. Today I'm going to be building some more, adding some more to um, the lean-to now. I'm going to be working and focusing on the lean-to today. And uh, I'm going to add the uh, cooking, the camp cooking stuff inside this video. It's only going to be one video today. I don't have a lot of time, so I might not have that much content and I'm just gonna throw in the cooking uh, all in one video today. So it's damp, it's been kind of like on off raining. It rained pretty good this morning and it's kind of like sprinkling right now. It's very dark in the woods today. Uh, I gotta really like boost the exposure just, to, <laughs> just so you guys can see me properly. So uh, today I probably am gonna throw a tarp over top of the poles so I have um, a dry area just to, um, to work in and to put my gear and things like that. So that's gonna be one of the first things I do is just throw a tarp over that. And then I'm gonna be doing more sawing and more pole collecting to fill in back here where the lean-to is gonna be. For those of you interested, I'll be using the Survival Technologies tube tarp, just throwing it over top and it should do enough for what I need it to. So let's get to it.
All right, the lean to is finally done. Yeah, it took a lot of sawing down and took multiple hours of work just to get a bunch of poles <laughs> to cover up that back part there. But uh, I got a pretty good lean to going on now. Pretty uh, happy about that. Gives me, um, now I got like a place to put a bed down in there. That's a good space. Definitely a good uh, space there for me to sleep in. So um, a bed will be built and we'll be going in there. So as far as uh, this video goes, it's not too exciting, just a bunch of cutting down poles and dead standing wood. It's a little bit boring, but we are going to be, now that all that is done, I'm going to try to stoke up the uh, twig stove that I haven't pulled out for a really long time and uh, cook up some food. I think it's coming together. I'm, I'm super uh, stoked on how things are going and the camp is definitely tying together, starting to look more like something you can actually do bushcraft stuff in, not just a little bit of a structure. Time for some food. Today, what's on the menu is uh, we're basically doing an Uncle Ben's, simple Uncle Ben's rice, throwing some uh, protein in there, just some turkey and some cheese. And that is all we are doing. Something that's uh, quick and simple. So this stove is one of those Amazon stoves. I got a long time ago. And it is, I don't really know how well it actually works, but it's kind of one of those ones that's supposed to re-burn. <clears throat> so how well that will work, I don't know. Uh, basically, from what I've heard is the best thing to do is try to do a Swedish torch fire or whatever in this thing. And I might try and do that. And it's super wet right now. Twigs are not uh, the best best thing for this for this type of a stove. I'm going to shove some birch bark in there. It's not quite Swedish torch like. Uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> shove in the birch bark. Hope for the best. I do have um, this little like paper satchel of Vaseline and today I'm going to be using that because I don't really feel like messing around and I really do want this to light so we'll stick that in there like that and I'm not going to bother with using the ferro rod right now because it's wet very wet ouch Will that light it? Probably not. Some of the birch bark going. Two cups of water for the Uncle Ben's.
Well, it took a bit of time to get this thing to properly go, but it's definitely working now. Nice. Well, that didn't take very long once this thing actually started to work. Got a good boil going on. So with uh, this Uncle Ben's, you're supposed to simmer it, not just boil the boil the crap out of it, basically. So I'm going to have to play with that a bit. I'm going to try to make coffee at the same time. Ooh, did I steam up my camera? I think I steamed my camera lens up a bit. But I'm going to try to make coffee at the same time. Well, water for my coffee is definitely boiling now. Key with this thing, once it gets going, you gotta like drop in kind of like your little fuel now and then. And you don't want it to be overflowing. You want it to be able to reburn the gases basically. And that's why it's really smokeless now. But it's kind of like throwing like, um, I don't know, little bits of charcoal or something in there. But it, it actually is working really well now that it's going. Nice and hot. The rain's kind of subsided. I didn't get too wet actually. Forgot to stir in the seasoning pouch, can't forget that. Woo! That's simmering, right? Lose a bit of rice. Well, cheers, another hard day. Some coffee and a good pot of rice and some turkey and cheese. I don't know, just random protein that I'm throwing in there. Collecting all those poles, it's probably, you know, a hundred poles, I wanna say, in, in total, with uh, including the supports and roof poles and the lean to there it's like a hundred poles that have to be relatively straight and strong not rotten so you know if you're really lucky you might get three poles out of a dead standing most likely you're getting one maybe two so that's a lot of, a lot of dead standing wood that you're looking for when you're building a camp like this and this is just the start <laughs> There's definitely going to be a lot more pull work. Oh, it's nice to have a hot coffee though when it's really damp and wet. And, it, you know, it's not that cold, but it's misty. It's one of those uh, days where the humidity is probably like 100%. Uh, not an ideal day to be painting, that's for sure. So it's an ideal day for bushcrafting on Vancouver Island though. You know, if you live in BC and you don't manage a way to figure out how to deal with rain and how to just live with it. Uh, it's really hard to get out in the woods. So I didn't even wear rain gear today and I actually didn't get that wet because it was just a bit drizzly. The wood woods is wet and that's why I wore some gloves. It just makes life a little easier, a little better, but you gotta learn how to deal with rain. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. All right. I'm just going to throw in some of the turkey. It's like Costco Lilydale turkey that I use as sandwich meat. Add some protein to the meal. And uh, some slices of cheese. Provolone. That'll mix all up and that will get all melted when I throw it back on the, on the twig stove. which is burning nicely, doing well. I'll probably end up burning the bottom, eh? <laughs> Turkey and cheese. Yeah, it looks good to me. That'll be a nice hearty meal before I hike out.
Oh, that tastes so good. <laughs> Rice are hot. Mm. That's a hearty meal. I'm trying to make a theme of simple cooking and kind of just doing things on the fly. And this, uh, I was quite happy actually how that twig stove worked out. Honestly, when I was first doing it, I thought it was gonna be a total failure. I thought I was gonna have to like, you know, do a fire and completely just redo uh, the whole meal. But uh, once I got going, it that thing was, that thing boiled water really quick. So I can see this place. I'm just not familiar with um, how to actually use it, but Today has been a good day for me. Finishing the lean-to was awesome. Camp is starting to look like a bushcra bushcraft camp and the food is good. So until the next video, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are enjoying the series and uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. This is Dave for BC Bushcraft. There will be lots more bushcraft camp episodes to come. I planned this to be kind of like the new flow of the channel and the new yeah just just the new flow of the channel I don't have anything else to say <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video